And uh, now coming up to the Savile Staircase, this the current leader. It is uh, Ros Cantrical, second last year with Lordships Graffalo, the world number three on this 11-year-old for the uh, 2018 world champion. Of course, that was with All-Star B, first part. We've seen some young horses go around this course really well. And even though this horse is only an 11-year-old, he's done so much in his 11 years. And just by his form of what he's done, it just shows he has a, a great brain. And, and Roz will be very thorough with her training. And you can see how wide that log yeah. pile is. You know, poor old Kitty Kin was caught out there <laughs> with a horse just slightly misjudged it. And Roz focus. She's such a down-to-earth, fabulous competitor, but really grounded and, and just absolutely doesn't left, leave any stone unturned. Yeah. Gemma coming into the corral here. Yeah, so um, I walked this on six strides in the middle. It's been doing six or seven. Roz, beautiful there on six, both on very slight angle. That was very controlled and beautifully ridden. Well, and again, it's going to be a close look on time and quick math says 51 seconds over. She could still be in the lead for this one. And, and again, we sort of thrown the book out today on time. So really, let's see how it goes. Tina, she has a little look at the watch. <laughs> Here we come to the water. Yeah, way. we've got that massive bar. triple bar. I mean, look, this is a classy, classy horse, as mm. with Roz, but you have to think in these conditions as well that Roz would would weigh away probably about seven stone, you know, yeah. eight stone maybe. So this horse is carrying a lot less weight if you're looking at racing turns when you're talking about pounds here and there. So if anyone's going to be galloping at the end of the course, you'd like to think it's this combination. So this is absolutely her chance as well. Obviously, she's got to jump the fences, but, you know, he'll be fit and is, is carrying a few pounds less than anybody else. So um, watch this space. Absolutely. Owned by Michelle Saul and Wood, uh, Lordship's Graffalo, 11-year-old now by Berkhoff's uh, Graf and Stoltz. And uh, Gemma, what have you made of this horse? We saw them in action last year, finished so brilliantly. Let's I think this is in. actually my favourite event horse on the circuit at the moment. He is fantastic. <laughs> and Roz has got such a partnership with him and such a belief in Whoop. him. Whoopsie. Um, but he uh, he's just so unfazed by life. She says that he just goes through life saying, OK, what's next? Um, I know that she absolutely adores him. And you can just see the way the horse is galloping there. He really covers the ground. He might he finds galloping very easy. And that is just such a bonus when you're coming to this sort of around this sort of course. Yeah, and then nice. clever on his feet there. But it's the galloping in between the fences on these sort of blood type horses. Gemma and I have ridden many a thoroughbred round here and got it just makes your life so much easier. And this horse is travelling very much within himself. Uh, not looking far off target either over the footbridge well just a touch over and, and looking good for them so far time wise as they come up to the light source BP Ponds yeah very nice very economical that fence has generally jumped very well back with Ros Canter the current leader after dressage. Yeah, you just Neat. need to respect, which he did quite beautifully. Just need to steady them up to jump that insignificant little rail at the top there, but it's still another fence. Back with Roz at the Mars M's. She just looked there like she was actually saying to him, just steady. Yeah. Um, and he just looks full of running, having galloped up the, um, the hill from the bottom there, which is really tough going. Um, it's tough going through those trees. It's, it's, you know, it's quite holding, and this horse has come out on top of this ground here by the house, looking absolutely unbelievable. And, it, and it's the move away from those yeah. fences as well, Tina. Oh uh, yeah, I was just getting excited just watching that <laughs> because that's just a feeling that you want on a badminton wow. horse. And wow, look at that! Wow. I mean, it was sharp in front yeah. and let go behind. She says go, it goes, regardless of whether it's carrying you know, a nice lightweight girl on top. It's a class machine. Let's see how she goes. She is able to go round. She's got the time in hand. 
and she can make a proper turn to this corner to ride on. Yeah, Super. perfect. From Rosie's point of view, she came inside the tree. She was gave the horse time to assess that fence, which Gemma actually it hasn't actually jumped that well. No, I really didn't like that fence from the beginning of the week. That was my, I, it was the worst fence for me on the course. Um, I was dreading riding it, and to be honest with you, I did go round. And she's looking good for time at the moment as well. It's probably about 30, 35 over, but that would still be enough to see her at the top. She said to me earlier when she was walking, of course, that's the route she was going to go with both of them. Most people have gone that direction, not losing a lot by going what was supposed to be the longer route there. Ros Cantor at the Brewers Drays at those big parallels. Yeah, that will be a good feeling from Ros as she made that turn. Yeah, and look she at saw him gallop. that stride. Yeah, she. That will be like now she's in. Come the on, Rosie. Through the trees to the Rolex log Under in the sight shadow. of home. Yeah, and look yeah. at that time. Looking good. Come it on, looks Ros. like she's going to keep it in the lead as she goes. Just that final fence to come. Ros Cantor, second last year, is now is still full of running up to the finish. There is some horse, some rides. We said it's going to be about 30. It looks like it. It's going to be 29 over 33.7. She finishes on, so she stays in the lead for Ros Cantor and Lordship's Graffalo. That Tina is some accomplishment. Oh goodness me, what a fabulous round! No wonder she's pointing at the horse. You know, Ros doesn't always show a lot of emotion, but she is super <laughs> proud of this horse and we're super proud of her. She's given it a peach of a ride and what a class tool he is. And so wonderful for the British crowd to see this combination. Ros Cantor leads on 33.7, a gap of nine there to Austin O'Connor and Colorado Blue and Sir Oliver Townend in uh, third spot there with Ballamore class 12.2 Tina some big gaps in there there are some big gaps in there but there are some very good combinations still yes we feel like we've lost lost some that have had mistakes but the show jumping can you know we might get some rain tomorrow the show jumping could be a little bit sticky and it'll see who comes out on the last day so look it's a great it's a great lead from Ross's point of view and pretty exciting stuff